Hola, Matt here. Welcome to another session of The Artist's Way. Good stuff. So today we're exploring a really cool concept that I'm sure we can all relate to called the virtue trap. <sighs> to put it simply, um, think of it as disregarding yourself by virtuously serving others. Perhaps you felt that strong calling to serve others in some way that utilizes your unique gifts. I think we can see it pretty dramatically in things like parenthood or um, different roles in community um, or just simply wanting to serve the ones we love because we love them. <laughs> it is very fulfilling to be of service and to see that service um, bring joy into someone else's life. And therein lies the danger, because it's very attractive to often defer nurturing our own self to try to nurture those around us. And it's, it's kind of can be the frog in the water kind of thing where over time we unknowingly become depleted and lose connection to what we need by getting caught up in other people's needs. So. Where's the healthy balance? Of course, our morning pages are a great way to find that balance because they help us take the time and the space and the quiet that we need to begin to find ways, creative ways to fill the well, as Julia calls it. And um, also why Julia incorporates weekly artist dates into our creative recovery which again are scheduled chunks of time just for me and only me to explore whatever, whatever. So um, I love to keep a log in the back of my um, morning pages with artist dates, ideas, just when they come to me, because obviously we can't always just <laughs> go do them. Um, but when we have those scheduled chunks of time, I can just flip back here and check it out and oh, I have time to build the battery dock or the desk organizer or spend endless time looking at available properties with 30 plus acres and buildings. <laughs> um, there's a lot of random cool ideas that come and it's also great to just have a place to put them. So, so uh, yeah, they're more likely to happen. So that said, if you haven't already, let's take some minutes and let that stream of consciousness flow through the words into our pages. Okay, so in today's reading, I, oosh, it really hit me deep because I live in a community with eight others and as the landlord, I'm always tracking how much I should or shouldn't get involved <laughs> with, with trying to ultimately support and serve others to ensure that their home is a place of sanctuary. And it is a fine line. And um, I don't always get it right, but by deeply listening to myself and to others and creating courageous boundaries, there is certainly a healthy way to balance the dynamics. And sometimes you don't know until you know. So being aware of the concepts that we're exploring, like the virtue trap and resting in motion and um, crazy makers and so on that we've been exploring, um, they're just helpful ways to be, be able to recognize and relate and respond to any given situation to cultivate that creative growth that we're that we're practicing so thank you for living and learning with me today i hope you enjoy today's creative exercise which is the virtue trap quiz it can be a very helpful way in pointing out ways that you might be self -sab self sabotaging yourself by only trying to serve others and with that, I hope you are inspired to play with some fun ways to nurture your beautiful, creative self today. Feel free to share any of those inspirations with us in the comments below. And I am looking forward to seeing you tomorrow as we look for ways that uh, we might further be sabotaging ourselves by being the nice guy or gal. Until then, thank you so much for 
following your bliss by staying curious and blossoming your artist within and being courageously honest with yourself. Kudos. Okay. Peace, love, courage.